Hello, my name is Zoya Hussein and my partner is Zohal Hadri. Our project is the balloon race, which deals with stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is the relationship between the relative quantities or mass of substances involved in a chemical reaction. In industrial processes, chemical reactions are often conducted using an excess of one reactant, unlike a classroom in which we work with exact stoichiometric quantities. Our project is similar to industrial processes. We will combine vinegar and baking soda in various quantities and identify the limiting and excess reactant in each situation through observing the amounts of gas it generates. The materials that we used in this project were a balance, six flasks, six weighing dishes, six balloons, a graduated cylinder, a funnel, spatula, permanent marker, sodium bicarbonate, which in our case is baking soda, and vinegar in substitute of acidic acid. We started off by labeling the flasks and weighing dishes from 1 to 6 and aligning them according to their number. We measured 25 milliliters of vinegar and poured it in each flask. Then we measured 0.5 grams of baking soda and placed it in the first weighing dish. We added 1 gram to the th second, 1.5 grams to the third, 2 grams to the fourth, 2.5 grams to the fifth, and finally 3 grams to the sixth weighing dish. Next, through the help of our teachers and some friends, we used a funnel to put the different amounts of baking soda in each of the balloons. We put 0.5 gram in the first balloon and placed it on the first flask, 1 gram in the second balloon and placed it on the second flask and continued the process until all six flasks had a balloon attached to it with a certain amount of baking soda in it. In our final step, we poured the content of each balloon into each flask and observed the reaction that took place in the balloons and flasks. The fourth, fifth, and sixth balloons were all the same size, going to about 28 centimeters, and then the sizes stopped increasing. We observed that as we combined more baking soda and the vinegar, more carbon dioxide was emitted and therefore the balloon that was attached to each flask would become larger. However, this process only continued until a certain amount of baking soda was added because the acidic acid could not dissolve any more sodium bicarbonate. The fourth, fifth, and the sixth balloons were all of the same size, going to about 28 centimeters, and then the sizes stopped increasing. Therefore, the acetic acid or the vinegar was the limiting reagent, the substance that we ran out of first. The sodium bicarbonate or baking soda was the excess reagent, the substance that was left extra even after the reaction because there was not enough vinegar in the flasks to react with. To keep record, we documented the materials we used, the procedure we followed, and our results for our English connection. For our social studies connection, we researched that in 1792, Jeremiah Benjamin Richer was the first to propose the law of definite proportions and he later came up with the term stoichiometry. He discovered that the ratio by weight of the compounds consumed in a chemical reaction was always the same. Later on, Antoine Lavoisier found that the total mass of the products is equal to the total mass of the reactants and called his discovery the law of conservation of matter. Furthermore, this law was thoroughly studied by John Dalton and he created the atomic theory. Stoichiometry was itself an amazing system and led to various